So why does Spain offer a better opportunity than the Philippines uh, as a foreigner or as a couple living there? Um, the first thing I want to point out, which is something people forget, it's difficult to make money in the Philippines uh, work-wise. Finding a job, most jobs in the area, you're lucky to get 20,000 pesos a month. Um, I'd be talking talk that in real money, 20,000 pesos divided by... Uh, divided by 70 is about 285 pounds a month right 285 pounds a month 20,000 pesos not big money um, if you take out your rent and everything else you're not making a lot of cash and I, now the thing is I earn a lot more than that in the Philippines but it's all self-generated and most of the people I know are self-generated um, what I mean is they make money online, they make it offshore, they do it uh, contract contract working overseas. There's only a very small amount that actually make money in the country. Um, myself with a call center, for example, that makes money external, even if it's an internal uh, company. For the average expat, um, they ain't going to be able to do that unless they've got a pension. You know, they're going to find the Philippines very hard hard going unless they can generate cash. It doesn't mean it's impossible. It does mean that you need to create a cash fund for at least the first six months. I generally look at six months as my absolute minimum. Um, I count three months as an emergency fund where I need to actually leave the country and go and uh, build up cash again if it's run that low. Um, I never run it down to one month ever um, should never be in that situation so the first thing is Spain Spain has a minimum wage although most people don't work to it um, but I'll say that it's a bit unfair I, a lot of people don't work to it should I say because I can actually say most because I'm not that familiar with the uh, the country but I know people earning 700 euros a month now 700 euros isn't a lot of money uh, just off the top of my head, it's probably about five hundred pounds a month. Um, cost of living slightly, slightly more in the Philippines in some ways, but cheaper in others. Uh, for example, the rents between Spain and the Philippines are, are pretty close. Um, food costs in Spain, I would say, are actually cheaper um, because it's got so much farmland. Unless you're in Madrid or somewhere like that. If you if you're going into a major city. Um, Makati and Madrid are probably close to close to each other. There ain't going to be a lot of savings, but as a foreigner finding a job could be quite difficult. Um, but I will say in Spain, as a foreigner, it's quite easy to find work, especially in the tourist areas because there's so many uh, foreign people visiting there. Um, it's like now the holiday season is starting to kick in. People are already starting to be offered jobs. Now, why I'm bringing this up is the fact is, if you're paying into the tax system in Spain, you're entitled to the medical system. But also, if you're a British expat and you're still there on a tourist sort of situation because you're not actually employed as such, you still have your EHIC, so you can get free healthcare. Philippines, you get nothing. Um, so, if you have a motorcycle accident or something, you better have some cash. Spain, you're going to be okay. You 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 might have to pay somewhere out if you end up in a private hospital, but if you're on the EHIC, they just build the UK for it. So you got better food, and I know a lot of people say, "Oh, the Philippines is great for its food." Spain's fantastic, unless you've been in both Spain and the Philippines. Don't turn around and state it is the best. Philippines is better, blah. blah. It's not. It really is not. Because the fact is, Spain has so much food in different varieties um, that you can't really make a comparison in, in saying this is better, because it's not. Spain is better, but what I'm on about is the Philippines is not better. Um, you could, maybe if you're in Davao, uh, where you've got access to all the, the fresh stuff, but if you're in the majority of the places that are fed off the Mindanao uh, food supply, then I would say there's no comparison. Spain, Spain just beats it hands down. Um, 
you also got the artisans, which is what we're talking about food. Uh, within walking distance of my house, I have a real butcher, you know, one that actually knows what meat is and how to cut it and how to make it taste fantastic. Um, you have a real baker that actually builds proper bread, makes fantastic uh, treats, that, you know, all that pastry goodness that's bad for you. <laughs> They do it properly. Um, Philippines, meat products. Yeah, always having this double dead, dead stuff coming up in the media where people are selling illegal pork uh, at meat markets and stuff that isn't fit for human consumption. You're also finding a lack of refrigeration, which means there's a higher risk of infection. You always find flies in the food. You know, even in supermarkets, there's, you're getting flies in the, the food chain there. And we all know what they do. They leave their lovely little eggs inside the, uh, the meat products. So, things to be aware of. Um, that's what I'm saying when you compare the two. So, that's... Um, and that's just the meat. When you get onto even the basic bread, it is full of sugar in the Philippines. It is the worst stuff I've tasted. It's not, it shouldn't, bread doesn't need sugar. It should never have sugar in it. Bread doesn't need a long list of ingredients. Bread is very ba a very basic product, yet it is full of junk. Also, the way it's made, and you can compare the two. Um, because you've got Spanish food is up here. Philippine bread is off the scale. It's just bad, bad stuff. Um, alcohol, if you like good wine, it's dirt cheap in Spain. Um, I think the cheapest we've seen uh, wine is like 30, uh, 30 centavos. 30 cents, sorry, not centavos, centavos in the Philippines. But in the Philippines, getting wine is hit and miss. I could spend, I have spent 2,000 euros, uh, 2,000 pesos a bottle on wine before, and it tasted like battery acid or something, because it, it turned to vinegar, it's been left on some port side for God knows how long. Um, wine doesn't travel well, so you can't have good wine in the Philippines, because it doesn't actually make any. I think there is some produced in the Philippines, but not large scale. It's the, the wrong environment for it. Um, beer is better in, in, the, uh, in Spain. Also, there's more beer available. Because in, in the Philippines, because everything falls under San Miguel, um, they only sell their own products. They don't even look to give variety. Their own variety is like it's different labels. It's just, it's not the same. It's not the same quality. It's not... It's just not good. Um, I mean, I, I know people that say that the even with the beer, it tastes different depending on where you are, which questions the quality of their the controls relating to the manufacturing of the the product itself. If you got different uh, levels of alcohol in wine and uh, in beer in the Philippines, there's something wrong with the process. It should be constant. Um, not that most people complain about it, but the fact that you have no idea what the alcohol level is um, sometimes. Um, I don't sample or test, but I'm just saying I've heard from different people that it's different depending on where they are, and it shouldn't be like that. Um, from a safety point of view, you have no idea what level of alcohol you've got in your system. Um, so we covered that. Rents are about the same. Uh, you can get cheaper in the Philippines, but I'm sure you can get cheaper in Spain if you go provincial. This is the thing, when you start going, oh, this is this, you can bring it all down. But the most important bit that uh, people forget is that in Spain, you can find work easy. Um, it's not going to be like 50 people knocking on your door to give you a job, but it's far easier to find a job in Spain than it is in the Philippines. Um, also, it's paying more because if you take that 20,000 pesos I said earlier, if you get an apartment, you're talking probably about three to six thousand pesos rent 
Uh, I know some people are going to go, I wish I could find something that cheap, but you can. Um, so let's just call it 5,000, meet somewhere in the middle. So there's your first five, you've got 15,000 left. Um, our food costs probably about 8,000 a month. So you got about 2,000 a week. So you take your food off there, that's you up to 13,000 already. Um, you then got your electric. That's going to be a little, probably another two thousand, maybe three thousand if you're running AC. Um, what did we get to? So uh, I forgot what, what we what we got. That's eight thousand plus the grand nine ten thirteen thousand plus three three thousand electric. So that's a sixteen. You got four thousand pesos spare a month. Um, then you got your mobile phone, you got your uh, the coffees and stuff when you go out, your transportation, getting back with the forwards to work. That 20,000 doesn't go very far. Um, in Spain, a similar sort of job um, that's paying 700 euros. Uh, you rent 300 euros. Um, now, if you're on your own, you'll get a one bedroom place, which you can probably get all your bills included. For 300 uh, your food cost is probably another 200 so that's five uh, transportation maybe I don't know maybe another hundred so that's 600 and your internet and stuff will come in at whatever you're, you're using it you probably got on your mobile phone so that's another 10 10 euros a month or whatever so you're still close but the difference is you can find those jobs easier and you can find better jobs um, once you get more savvy with Spanish the Philippines is far harder to do that and this is why you know if you're going to the Philippines um, you need to like keep a six month budget but also think about all these things um, because finding work is not easy um, you may have to generate it if you generate it online which is the way I went Financially, it gave financial freedom, which I'm still using now. Um, there's still income every month off the stuff I was doing five, seven years ago. Um, but when you sit there and compare the Philippines and Spain, be aware that going to Spain, you can find work easier. Working in the Philippines is not easy as a foreigner. There's a lot more visa restrictions. It's much harder to find work. It's much harder to find somebody who wants to go through the the hassles of dealing with your visa paperwork. In Spain, it's more laid back. It's very, it's very in many ways, Spain is very similar to the Philippines, but I find it much easier to deal with. Um, yes, they have all the bureaucratic process the same, but at the same time things like getting work you'll find somebody will give you a job even if you shouldn't have one um, it's just the way it is all right thanks for watching